Multiple Fortune 500 companies are hiring as we speak and most people are absolutely sleeping on this. So in the following minutes, I'm about to reveal some of the best remote job opportunities that you can take advantage of in 2022 and beyond. So let's get started. The first company on the list is Amazon. It's a trillion dollar company and they are hiring right now. Not only that, but they even have opportunities for students. Even if you don't have a degree yet, you can still find a pretty good opportunity to take advantage of. And I'm confident that adding Amazon to your CV is going to be a pretty cool addition. We're talking about all kinds of internships, where you can build up some previous experience and get a recommendation from Amazon, which is really valuable if you ask me. Full-time, part-time, seasonal opportunities, and a bunch of internships in all kinds of different categories, ranging from machine learning science to sales advertising or buying and planning. Not only that, but these are available pretty much all around the world. They are also hiring people for their fulfillment centers. And we are talking about more tedious work here, such as picking and packing orders, keeping them over, but again, they have a bunch of different categories. We're talking about a company that has a little bit under 1.5 million employees all around the world, and they are still searching for more. But at the end of the day, if you're considering working for Amazon, here's what you have to do. If you guys connect to Amazon.jobs, you can start searching, and you can simply type in the skill that you have or the degree that you have, and then pick a location based on your selection, Amazon Jobs will display the most suitable job opportunities, ranging from those of you who are more passionate about data science and things of that sort, to the more creative people who want to get a job in audio, video, or photography production. There are opportunities for everyone. You can even become an Amazon designer. But let's move on to the next company, and I'm talking about Meta. Again, we are throwing some big names around here, but all of these Fortune 500 companies are hiring as we speak. What you want to do is connect to metacareers.com, and this is where you can start browsing. Browsing. The first thing you can do is filter these results by the technology you want to be working on. And that can be Facebook, Messenger, Instagram, WhatsApp, or even the Meta Portal. Moving on, you can select the type of employment you're interested in. So that can be a full-time opportunity or just probation. And depending on the type of job, if you want to be a team manager or just an individual collaborator. But what I love about all of these job listings is that they are very specific. They will let you know exactly what they are looking for. For instance, this job right here is open for a software engineer who specialized in machine learning. And we're talking about the leadership job. And this one is a remote job opportunity targeting Canadian people. So you wanna take a closer look at that and make sure that the job is available in your country. Here's another one. They are looking for a UX research leader. It's a remote job and it is suitable for people in the US. But as you can see, they have opportunities for people all over the world, ranging from Singapore to the United States to places in Europe, such as Poland or Spain, Ireland, Sweden or the UK. So generally speaking, your location shouldn't really affect that. You won't be able to apply for all the jobs, but you should most likely find a few of them that are available in your country. And most of them can be done remotely, which is a huge advantage if you ask me, because you get to work for a Fortune 500 company. It's a huge addition to your CV and you get to do it from the comfort of your home. And here's another really interesting one, Airbnb. 163 roles in 106 locations locations. You get to live and work from anywhere. So let's just explore them. Once again, each and every single one of these job openings will have a specific location attached to it. So not all of them are available worldwide, but they are looking for people in India. They are looking for US citizens as well in New York, San Francisco, Seattle, and I could keep going here for ages. They have opportunities from people in Spain or Germany or China. And that is because they have Airbnbs all over the world. Not only that, but they also have a so-called university feature but it is going to be a little bit more tricky to find opportunities here so you may want to skip over that but if you're looking for a non-permanent contractor role then you may want to explore these ones too in order to not really take any long-term commitments if that's not what you're looking for again this is entirely up to you i'm just here to offer the opportunities and you can then take a closer look and decide what you want to go for and once again we are talking about very specific job descriptions so you can know from the get-go what you're expected to do and based on that 
you can make an informed decision. Some of them will have some really tricky requirements, such as 10 plus years of experience, a specific degree, a specific skill set, but the payment will also be quite generous most of the times. But if Amazon, Meta or Airbnb don't really sound that good and you still want to explore some more opportunities, then you may want to connect to this article. What you want to do is search for companies that offer remote work from home jobs in 2022. And this is a full breakdown. Again, we're talking about Meta, Amazon, Microsoft, Airbnb, and a bunch of other big companies, even Uber or Shopify. But here's the thing about it. What you need to understand here is that these are indeed remote job opportunities, but you do need to have a very specific skill set. You do need to have a degree. A lot of previous experience is going to be required from your end most of the times. So actually getting the job is not that easy. Not only that, but this is still a job. So if you don't really want to work a nine to five and instead you want to have a little bit more freedom, you may want to look for business opportunities that involve all of these Fortune 500 companies. And a really interesting one is Airbnb arbitrage. If you don't really want to work for the company, you don't really want to work for Airbnb, but you love their business model, and you want to take advantage of it, here's a really interesting opportunity. Again, we are talking about completely remote work. The business model is called Airbnb Rental Arbitrage, and it is all about leveraging other people's properties, and that's the keyword here. You don't actually need to own any property, so the upfront investment is minimal, and then you're going to sublease them and rent the properties on platforms such as Airbnb. So you get to reach out to a landlord, to a property owner, sign an agreement. It's called a sublease agreement, and it basically gives you the right to list that property on Airbnb for short-term rental. And so there is little upfront investment needed since you're not buying any property, very little risk because you don't really care about the roof needing to be fixed or things of that kind. You can also scale relatively quickly thanks to the little upfront investment. And there isn't really a lot of bookkeeping you need to do. You get to rent that property from the landowner for the long run through a sublease agreement. And then you get to welcome guests coming from Airbnb.com to your property every once in a while. Now, in theory, the whole business model sounds pretty good, but in practice, it might be a little bit more tricky than that because you might have to actually add some furniture to the property. You might need to pay for it, cleaning, maintenance, utilities. So there are some expenses you need to take into account. But at the end of the day, an annual ROI of 98% is not unheard of. And the same thing is true with Amazon. If you don't necessarily want to work for them, but instead you want to take advantage of their infrastructure and all the opportunities they provide, then you can actually partner up with Amazon instead of working for them as an employee. For example, you can go ahead and sell items on Amazon while letting them do the fulfillment. You're going to let Amazon pick, pack and ship your orders. Amazon employees will take care of the delivery, so the fulfillment of your orders while you get to keep the profits. All you got to do is set up your FBA account, then create your product listings, prepare the products and ship them over to Amazon's warehouses, their fulfillment centers as they are called. Moving on, Amazon employees will take care of all of the hard work while you get to keep a profit. So it's a really beginner friendly business model, but it does require enough for an investment because you need to have an inventory. You need to purchase a bunch of items in advance and ship them over to Amazon. So there is the risk of leftover inventory, right? But again, the main advantage of this whole business model is that you don't need to be actively involved in the process too much. You don't even have to handle the products. And so if remote work is what you're looking for, but you don't really want to be an employee, you don't really want to take any long-term commitment, then you may want to consider one of these business models that allows you to partner up with a trillion dollar company such as Amazon. But at the end of the day, it is all up to you. You've got all the resources you need to make it work. So I'm going to let you guys explore all of these opportunities and dive deeper. That's it for now and thanks for watching.